Hello everyone, JT122 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to unlock the hidden or higher end administrator account in Windows 7 and Vista. The purpose of this account is for troubleshooting and whenever you have a problem with a program that needs a higher administrator account, you shouldn't use this for a other than that. Okay, let's get started. First, you go and type in CMD here. Then you right click and run as administrator. Remember to run as administrator or it won't work. Then type in net user administrator space active. Yes. And if it works, it should say the command completed successfully. And then you type in exit. And I'm gonna show you an I'm gonna give you an example of uh, of, of what how this um, account works. Right now, I'm using just the regular administrator account. See, I'm gonna go to. As you can see, he's saying you are missing an administrator rights to perform this action. So that means I need to use the other higher end hidden administrator account. Okay. And for that, you go start and then you restart your computer or you can just switch to user. Okay, and this is an example of how the higher end administrator account should look like. Now I'm gonna give you the same example again of Fiber Search and Destroy. Uh, I used to get the pop-up window saying that I needed administrator rights to run the immunization. See now if I go here, I don't get that little pop-up window anymore saying that I need administrator rights. Also, if I type in, come on. CMD run as administrator you don't get the little pop-up window anymore also for some reason sometimes the account needs a password so if you can't log into the account uh, you have to go um, back to your um, regular account regular administrator account and then you go to your control panel and then you go to user accounts and family then you go to user accounts and you go to manage other accounts and then you go to administrator which is the higher end account that you just unlocked click on that then you create a password or change a password and right my mind doesn't have a password so it doesn't have the change a password so you just do that and uh, put a password that you like and and it should work okay and now I'm going to show you how to uh, disactivate the account so you, what you do now is that you go to command prompt again you run as administrator then you put net user administrator space work yes. and also I'm going to post the links on the bottom how to unlock and uh, disactivate it and thank you guys and remember to subscribe and comment